Shore Drive, you can see the maze of construction cones down there and the heavy equipment. It's been a fixture for years as crews rebuild the Lesnar Bridge. The $116 million project started in 2014. It's a year behind schedule, but we have a promising update tonight. The cones could come down within the next few weeks. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves has the new information. After what seems to be such a long wait, some say they can finally see the finish line on the Lesnar Bridge in Virginia Beach. Welcome news for those at American Brew. It's like right out back. <laughs> We've been watching the process like the whole time. So it was definitely a little struggling getting customers in here just because they were doing so much work at the beginning. That work is now focused on the eastbound span of the bridge connecting Shore Drive across the Lynn Haven Inlet. Take a look. Concrete is laid. New traffic signals are ready to be unveiled. But now that the bridge is farther up, um, we've been getting a lot more flow through here. Tonight, officials say that span has almost completely bridged the gap. Project manager Chris Watovitz says both sides will be open to traffic in late August. Uh, they put in this last span in the bridge, the quickest of any spans uh, of this whole project. I think they finally got into, into a rhythm here, and I think they'll get these next two spans in over the next four weeks. The project as a whole is more than a year behind. Weather made construction especially difficult, but that construction also made for mess for drivers. Definitely a lot of accidents. Someone just like ran right into the wall once. It's pretty unfortunate. But just because the lanes will open, there's still work to be done. The $116 million project includes wider sidewalks and green space. That means you'll see more traffic changes. So we're excited for it to actually be finished so we get a little bit more walking through traffic, even like bikers and um, you know runners and stuff like that. Of course, drivers are always advised to be careful as the traffic patterns are sure to change before everything completely opens in November. Reporting in Virginia Beach, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now. A time-lapse video reveals just how much work had to be done to replace what feds called a structurally deficient bridge. Parts of the old bridge are being shipped by barge to the eastern shore and dumped off of Kipto Peak to create an artificial reef.